Hello everyone, this is KJ. Welcome back to the Infected version 12.3. Uh, we are awaiting a point four possibly. Uh, I think I when I read um, what's on Steam, I think that that is... Oh, we need this. Um, if you read that, I, th I believe that's about um, a point four update and not a uh, version 13 update. All right, we need to get uh, some water. So we can actually just start this and start boiling water. Um, gosh, I hope I don't drink that. I have, do have eggs, but these eggs only have six and a half hours on them. So we are gonna have to be careful. How's the rest of our food? It's okay. It's not great. We have far too many animals. Um, where did I put it? There it is. There's some room. That is ridiculous. <laughs> Let's put these in there and hope. We'll put them in there with lots of hope. <laughs> All right. We'll get some more going here. I really should make another drying rack. And that's the empty one of those. We'll get that going. Meat cooks super fast. Um, it is a long way down there, but we're going to go wash our hands because I found out that if you use a bottle to wash your hands, it empties the entire bottle. That was a super huge mistake. I guess I didn't... Like, I never tested it before because I've never been quite so far away from water. There's a chicken out here. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I'm out of... And stamina. I was wondering, I was like, we don't have the problem getting in and out of water here, do we? <laughs> huh. That is just uh, overwhelming, isn't it? Let's try that. We need to somehow get this road down there. Hmm. If I was a foundation, where would I snap to? Right there. That's a little bit steep for the truck. I was just thinking we might need to do something like this, these stairs, but that is pretty steep. Do I have any boards? I only have four. How many does it take? Uh, oh, it takes four. Wrong button. Sorry. <laughs> All right. If you have a problem with these stairs, I've said this before, you have to fully put one in and completely build it, and then you can build the one that's right next to it. You can't put the ghosts next to each other. Oops. 
the um, storm is really distracting me. All right, so we're gonna go this way. And I think I will. Oh, that can't go there. Okay. I guess we're not going to go that way. I'm going to have to put, place them with free build. All right. <laughs> Let's play this, place this one here. I think it'll be better, in fact, um, if it is higher up the steps. Oops. So that's not quite so steep. Oh my god. <laughs> Get off my screen. Oh my goodness. Gonna get me killed. Where'd she go? Why'd she run away like that? <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you what. Um, oh, I'm carrying a bunch of stuff, but that's okay. All right, now then, let's toggle that back on, and there we go. want to get down here somewhat. Before we turn down into this. I think I could have free built that other turn, but I didn't I didn't know it would do quite so well. Um, <laughs> I always get my axe out when I think of picking up the logs. <laughs> there we go. Right, we still have all this to build. But um might possibly uh, build, actually put in the planks and boards um, some of it off video just as a matter of we don't have time for this, you know. Uh, what do I need? Two more. Pick up stick. Pick up stick. I can't. <laughs> I got one too many things picked up. All right, where's the last one? I can't even see him. Oh, he's way down there. Ugh. Chicken of evil. Okay. <laughs> we must maintain the goofiness. Just have to make sure that's the right way. <laughs> All right. There we go. So we're doing some uh, rather complicated uh, engineering today. You can outrun the chickens as such. Let's get into the shade. I've only lost two points, but yeah. Let's get into the shade while we're thinking here. Um, a bunch of those logs I can put in. And we need to go attend to that. Uh, fire. Make sure that we keep the food up. Because I am um, a little bit... What did I pick up? Ah, perfect. Let's not eat the wrong thing here. There we go. Uh, a little bit concerned about uh, how this is all going to work, but working it out as we go here. Um, yep, and that one, there we go. 
And we'll go ahead and cook the chicken. It doesn't make any difference. All this, most of this meat's gonna go off anyway. So let's eat that liver, if I can remember how. <laughs> we'll just go ahead and eat that. And we need to get the water. There we go. All right. Um, food. And that. There we go. We don't need any of the rest of this. There's so many things that I want to do all at the same time. And, um... <laughs> It's crazy because um, I want to get the roadway done, um, but I also want to uh, go to town, and I also want to go home and make rations because I've got the stuff to do that. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> there's a bunch of stuff I want to do all at the same time. Uh, there's another one. These are trees that uh, are uh, logs on the ground from when the uh, last time the circular saw was over here. Shut up, Shippo. I don't need you. <laughs> Crazy Shippo. Leave me alone. Oh, I did all of that to get the cart and then didn't. <laughs> or to get one of the carts anyway. See, I have a shippo in this cart. No. There we go. All right. <laughs> As I had to explain to somebody last week, ooh, there's all kinds of shippos. There's space shippos. <laughs> there's... Desert shippos. <laughs> and there's land shippos. All right, I'll stop. <laughs> Listen to all the animals. <laughs> Our weary traveler is not hungry. We can totally get away with harassing that person. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh, another one. <laughs> They're going crazy over there. <laughs> There's just nowhere. Where did it go? <laughs> Should be in front of my face. There we go. <laughs> Uh, I think these last, I think that they last a few hours. We'll check when I throw it on the floor in here. All right, so if you expand it, you have to hold down that button that says expand. You'll see you have two hours. If you just look at it, you can't see the timer. You have to actually uh, hold down the right mouse uh, button for that. Stop it, Shippo. Quit harassing me. <laughs> Did I mention that there are space shippos? Sorry. <laughs> oh God, there's another pumpkin. Stop. Stop with the pumpkin lights already. <laughs> there's always straggler logs. So if you're wondering if I did in fact leave logs somewhere, and you're wondering, it's because I can't remember and find them and all that stuff. <laughs> Let's get this side over here. There we go. I had, I must have had um, randomly put enough logs in that one uh, that when I added the planks to it uh, earlier today, or at the end of last night, actually, um, 
it just formed and I was like, oh geez, I didn't know there was that many logs in there already. Just randomly picking up logs and tossing them in. There we go. I'm terrible about using the cart. I know I should, because it saves some kind of time somewhere. Uh, yep, random logs on the ground, okay. <laughs> it's just that, the, you know, this is so close. When, um, before I had to stop the Roman villa for the update, um, get in there. Uh, I was saying, you know, if something, oh, run away. If something is this close, loading it into the cart and taking it over there just feels like a waste of time. <laughs> and right now I'm just trying to get the logs into where I got the planks in. I don't know how far along I'm in, I am with the planks, but at least that far. I love seeing the soaring birds, you know. Every once in a while, there's one. Boy, I'll tell you what, game development has come a long way. I don't know if you're old enough to remember um, a time when we never had a sky in any game, but, um, or were even able to look up and look around like that freely. I remember actually a time before that when you bought a computer, you would get a booklet on, you know, how to run DOS. And um, in the back of the booklet would be little games that you could program. Because basically, as I understand it, that's how they um, tested the logic of the computer. Where did all that go? Hello? <laughs> I must have put those logs in my pocket. <laughs> uh, at any rate, uh, I spent uh, weeks programming in Dungeons and Dragons. And it was just, you know, the sort of um, walls and dominoes type of Dungeons and Dragons. And uh, the original Dungeons and Dragons. And. Uh, it was more fun, I found it more fun to program than to actually play. <laughs> Which happens, you know. Oh, I ran out of that point. Okay. That's got all of them. I'll just finish this little bit. There we go. And one in there. All right, now back to the other side. Oh my goodness, dude. <sighs> I didn't think we would get to the end of the part where I put planks in, but it looks like we might. Um, is there any gas left? Barely. A quarter of a tank we've got. Uh, stop. <laughs> there we go. Open the back end. Makes it easier. Kind of got to point your pointer down on the bed of the truck. Really like that black cloud that comes off the trees when you cut them. That black cloud that makes no sense to me. Uh, I don't know how much further, but I'm parked pretty far away from the trees. <laughs> huh. 
A couple more. I wasn't sure I lost count. Alright. I think we can bounce this right off the, br the roadway. Did I try to look? Don't look. Just go. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Just keep going until you hit something. I've actually <laughs> hit <laughs> back when uh, my grandma's house was still standing. <laughs> and I didn't knock it down, I promise. But I was uh, backing out of uh, my parking space and um, misjudged quite a bit and uh, I went right into her house which had an aluminum skirt on it and the shape of my, my I think I had a Buick at the time I've had mostly Buicks but the shape of my, my Buick was definitely left uh, <laughs> in the side of the house. Let's just see how far I got here. To this one right here. So that almost made sense. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, to that one right there. And then we'll be all caught up with the planks. So we'll drive over here. Because the truck holds so much more. Uh, forward. Oh, cucumbers, awesome. Oops, wrong button. I think I turned the headlights on or off, maybe. That's perfect. All right. There seems to be some rocks in between me and the roadway, so... <laughs> So I will figure out uh, in between uh, the next two videos. I'm sorry, I'm only getting one done a week. I am still uh, struggling with the muscles in my back. And it has been absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I have um, another appointment finally coming up in three weeks. The, uh, the x-rays that they did, uh, the x-ray te technician almost killed me. She was brutal. Uh, I think her name must have been Helga Schultz. <laughs> Put your arm down. <laughs> she, just about, she just about killed me. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> I feel very nervous about those rocks. Oh, there's one of them. There we go. <laughs> and uh, it took me quite some time to recover from just getting the x-rays done. It's a muscle problem. And I told them that, and that's what the doctor could feel. Uh, he could feel a separated muscle. But, you know, just to be careful, and of course to spend the government's money, uh, he decided that I needed a full set of back and spine x-rays. <sighs> I swear. <sighs> I mean, I should care more how the government spends money because I mean it is my money they're spending and yours <laughs> but the doctor could feel the muscle that was torn <laughs> and still insisted on doing the x-rays which were brutal and so I had to have one arm uh, high up in the air and the other arm on the side where all the damage is. 
uh, pushed down all the way. And, um, and that caused a lot of pain. And uh, so I screeched a little bit. <laughs> And, I mean, you know, as you can imagine, it hurt. And, uh, oh dear, I don't want to lose all that stuff. Let's go put it away. Um, so when, uh, you know, um, uh, so when she pushed down on my shoulder to raccoon, stay out of my house. So when she pushed down on my shoulder to um, uh, to show me where my shoulder needed to be, um, that's when like the second injury happened. <laughs> I thought, oh my goodness, I'm never gonna survive just the X-ray process, and uh, I don't need any of that. I'll just throw it on the floor. And those, and I have a thing. There, right there we go. They don't move until you move towards them. <laughs> Where are you, you overgrown rat? I heard you. This is much easier in subsistence. All the animals have health bars. <laughs> I don't know where he is. <laughs> I just noticed that my axe needs to be done. There we go. Um. Where is he? You know what? It'll be easier to just shut the door. <laughs> Aha! There you are. Give me back my arrow. Give me it! There we go. All right. Go away. <laughs> Pretty soon you'll hear him screech when he bleeds to death. Yep, there he goes. <laughs> <Butter. laughs> Alright, the weather's turning uh, to garbage. And uh, I want to try to uh, figure all of this out and get a lot of this uh, filled in here. I think that we can get... Oh, i got to go way down there to get up there. You know what, I think we should put in some uh, stairs every once in a while. Do you think that'd be a good idea? And we'll just grab one of these trees right here. Um, it doesn't matter if the Vambies can get up here because uh, if they, uh, let me turn the light on, there we go. If the Vambies can't get up here, they'll destroy the uh, structure and so we need to be able to get up here so we are from uh, right there to right here to finishing this main part of the roadway and I think I'll try to fill this in uh, before the next episode and try to figure out some of that engineering over there it's going to be pretty complicated I think and um, possibly. Oh, that's just bushes out there. All right, the storm is telling me it's time. <laughs> I want to thank you all so much for coming along. Uh, if you have any ideas about this, just please put them in the comments because I am always interested uh, in your ideas and your criticism and your compliments and everything in between. Always, always. Uh, I hope you all have a lovely evening. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. Oh, we might have a point four, uh, four coming up uh, before the next episode. So uh, I will let you know if there is an update. Bye for now.